What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Mr. Headquarters. Hey, we are a week outside of the Black Ops 4 beta multiplayer. Hey, man, I can't hardly go back and play World War II. All I can think about is, man, I'm ready to grind me some Black Ops 4. I cannot wait till October 12th. But first of all, I'm going to give y'all the uh, ups and downs of the game. Am I going to buy it? Of course I'm going to buy it. I mean, it's a Treyarch game. You know you got to rock it. I mean, it's the the best franchise of the Activision franchise. I mean, Treyarch has never let us down, so we shall see here. I mean, I know there's a lot of ups and downs here with the uh, the time to kill and the stin shot and everything, but I believe as everybody grinds it out that they're going to get used to it. I mean, it's just one of them things, man, we're just going to have to adjust and adapt. I mean, it's not your traditional Call of Duty game. I mean, they try to change it and make it a little more advanced, and it also helps your advanced players. But with the time to kill and the health, I want to say that, I mean, I believe that they need to drop that down to 125. And if you're running recon, not recon, crash. If you're running crash, then that should allow you to bump your armor up to 150. I mean, because the time to kill, man, is insane. I mean, if you're, I don't care how good of a shot you are. If you're in a 2v1 situation, you cannot win it. If you got a guy to your left and a guy to your right, you can't win it. The only way you're going to win those 2v1s is, is if they're lined up side by side. Other than that, you do not have time to turn on that guy. Due to the fact is, is we do not have enough ammo in our guns. I mean, it is ridiculous the time to kill. I mean, I don't care how good you are if you're hitting all headshots. You cannot get a double whenever they're shooting at you from both sides i mean it is what it is but you know it is the beta and i'm sure they're going to take all this information that they're gathering gathering from all the youtubers and they're going to go back and reanalyze some of this stuff and once the game is final released on october 12th you know maybe we'll see some changes but i mean i really hope they drop that uh health to 125 instead of 150 because i mean the time to kill like i said is ridiculous there's a lot of times where, I mean, I feel like that I'm getting trashed in the game just due to the fact of the time to kill, you know, and I die. But, you know, I come back up and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I had a 2.0 KD, so I really can't hate. I had a 4-point KD. I can't hate. I mean, but if you're going to make the time to kill that hard, I believe that sniping should be a, a two-shot. I mean, it's not fair to run around and just boom. And kill somebody with one shot with a sniper whenever it takes me almost half a clip to bust into you. I mean, you literally can miss your first shot in a in a close quarter gunfight and take another shot at me with a sniper and quick scope me and kill me. I mean, that is, that is not fair in my opinion. But it is what it is, and I don't think they'll ever change it because, I mean, quick scoping, I think, is a cheating move in my opinion. Just like somebody that wants to use torque and set up in a room and put his razor wire up in his microwave and just camp it until it goes away. But I have to say, I am using Torque right here, and I love Torque. But I use Torque for what he is designed to do. I use him to block some of the, the main routes so that my team can escalate and really force the enemy to come down a certain route and control the map. So with the microwave, what I do is I like to set it right here in that doorway, and I'll face it inward to the lane so whenever they come around that corner rushing and they come through there my microwave just blasts i mean i love it and then my razor wire man i found out i get the best kills with the razor wire when i set it into a window seal right below so whenever you got somebody trying to run and jump into a window hello razor wire you know and usually i get a kill out of it and sometimes i block the lane just like i did right there with the razor wire i mean it's a really good place and i believe i, block, I put a microwave right here and that way when they're coming through there, they're hit with a surprise. And I mean, it's just some good places to really escalate with torque here. But I mean, these guns here, I mean, we have not seen all of the guns. I mean, there may be a lot of guns to really help the time to kill. And you know, we also have the operator mods. You know, I did not really get to use a whole lot of operator mods because I pretty much just stayed to the gun that I had leveled up just for the fact of the beta is a a short-term thing so I really didn't want to take time and trying to level up all these guns because I was just really trying to grind it and get a feel for the game I mean 
I was trying to love it. So, I mean, anytime I used a gun without no kind of attachments on it, I found myself hating the game just because it took my time to kill a ridiculously long time. But it is what it is. I mean, I mean, you, you got to love the game because it is a Treyarch game, but it is what it is, man. I mean, I don't even really know, man. It's just the time to kill. I mean, just watching this gameplay here, I mean, it's just... It's just crazy on the time to kill, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into the specialist. I mean, I really love the specialist, especially the one with the, uh, what is it, the uh, radiation, man. So whenever you come up on a hard point or domination or something like that, man, and you really try to get them to force that position, you turn on that radiation, man, you can just literally blast these guys. You know, uh, recon, I'm really wondering about recon, man. I think that they're going to... Uh, really uh ban that in competitive cod because there's no way on earth they're going to allow recon to be accessible on search and destroy because once somebody is lo alive long enough to be able to utilize recon i mean you might as well say if somebody's running recon that's game over because you have already got keys on where everybody is and to my knowledge there's nothing to really counter recon there's no like mountain in World War II that you can show where you do not show up on the map. I mean, recon x-rays everybody. So, I mean, unless they come up with a counter on that, I believe they're going to ban that competitive COD. So, I look forward to try to see what they're actually going to ban in these specialists. But, I don't know, man. I, I'm just ready to play it, man. It's just been too long. Too long, man. I mean, this week is just killing me. I'm ready right now for September 10th for the blackout mode to come out. Because, I mean, I'm kind of anxious to see what it's going to be about. I mean, I know they implemented the heist game mode into the game to, I mean, pretty much tease us on Blackout. Because they're going to have it an aspect to where you probably find guns, but in order to, you know, get score streaks and stuff, it's going to allow you to buy kills. That way, you know, it's not just on a, on a kill like, you know, a 10 kill, you get a fighter pilot or something like that. You actually got to, you know, spend your money and buy the airplane or buy the whatever uh so the ammo is probably just gonna be laid around all over the map and guns you know hopefully you don't buy guns if you have to buy guns it's just gonna be trash to me but they really got to make it to where you like go indoors and find it sort of like fortnite i mean you got to make the blackout mode playable and you got to make it lovable because if it if blackout fails i believe that um this one right here is going to fail as well because, I mean, everybody is really hyped around Blackout. So hopefully to goodness we don't have that thing where two months later everybody's back on playing Fortnite. I really want to see Call of Duty succeed in this and it'd be another Fortnite, man, and Fortnite goes to the trash. But as you can see right here, man, your boy went, I believe, 23-3. and I'm not too sure, but your boy had a 8.8 KD, man. Yeah, I went 24 and 3, my bad. But I mean, like I said, it's a love-hate situation here with this game. The time to kill just makes it feel like it is just unreal. But hopefully they fix it, man. But that was all just my insight on the Black Ops 4. You know, uh, let me know in the constant. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the game and what you're most hype about i want to know so make sure you put that down and make sure that you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell for notifications your boy is doing a giveaway once we reach 100 subscribers i will be giving away a set of black ops 4 control freaks and once we hit that 1000 subscriber mark your boy is going to do a live gameplay game giveaway okay black ops 4 platform of your choice or I can give you a digital download code, whatever you would like, but you will have access to the game when it comes out. I will have it pre-ordered at your local GameStop, Walmart, wherever you want it at. I'm going to make it happen for you, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and get into the drawing. And also go into your settings and then go to privacy and history and make sure that you uncheck that box where it does not hide your subscription. That way when I do my drawing that you're on the list to be pulled for your name because if you got your subscriber thing hit i cannot see you so therefore i could not put you in the drawing i mean that's just how it is on policies but hey i gotta get out of here man i hope y'all have a fantastic day and hit that like button man hit the subscribe button and join my community mr headquarters so whenever i'm live playing you can join in smash lobbies with me man but i'm out
Peace.